Oh, hello everybody, JT Bear here. Welcome back to another video in the Pepper Collector playlist. Today is kind of a beautiful Saturday morning, but there's a bit of a tragedy going on in my garden. The early jalapenos um, seem to have developed some kind of a root issue and they're, they're dying on me. We'll take a look at the plant and then we'll get to tasting those peppers. So as you can clearly see, this is not an overly happy pepper plant. And uh, I really don't quite know what's gone on here. I did a lot of pruning back of the mouse melon a few days ago and uh, it might have just been providing enough shade that having it gone has just killed off the rest of the plant. It's a bit of a tragedy like I was saying but you know it's pepper plants. You grow them, you compost them, you eat the peppers. Normally when you grab a jalapeno pepper at the grocery store it's probably going to be green like this because they hardly ever get a chance to ripen on the plant. But they are in fact supposed to be a nice solid and bright red. The one in the back here you can see has plenty of fruit on it. So when the plant is happy and healthy they are very very productive. It's probably one of the reasons they're such a mainstream market pepper. I'm gonna grab my little wicker plate, harvest these off, and we'll get inside and uh, taste them up. Alright, I've got uh, a good pile of them washed up, a good pile of them still need to be washed up for dehydrating and who knows, pickling or what, but let's grab a green one and a red one and uh, see how we feel about this. I don't know if you can tell in the images or not, but these jalapenos are a little bit shorter than your average store-bought jalapeno, ripe and unripe alike, but they are an early variety of jalapeno, so I guess, you know, that's the trade-off there. You want it a little bit faster, you're going to get you know, a little less fruit. That being said, these are uh, from the early jalapeno that I bought at the Big W. It was about 12 bucks for the plant. I'm not entirely sure we have $12 worth of jalapenos here, but I will weigh it up and uh, put that information in the description somewhere. Anyway, we need to taste these, don't we? Here we are back in our testing facility. As you can see, once again, the lovely Shocks has joined me. We both have a green jalapeno like you would find in the grocery and a ripe jalapeno like if you have the patience to grow them yourself you will find at home. Alright, I'm going to have a seat and we'll get started on the green ones. The green ones, okay. <laughs> Alright. Green, right? It's not right. Green. Green. Green jalapenos. Cheers. To jalapenos. See? I dropped my rib. And this is why people give me a hard time. To me, this is still basically a sweet pepper. There is like no burn in a green jalapeno. It's like a two. Yeah. Green jalapeno gets a ranking of two. Nice I'm not going to waste it. Mmm. Very juicy. Mmm. -hmm. But not, um... I think they get hotter when they're pickled, actually. Maybe. But this is not a hot pepper, this is a two. Alright, so the early jalapeno allowed to ripen to red will hopefully be a bit more of a golf shoe in the tongue. And um, we shall see. Two red jalapenos. Red jalapenos! Um. Okay. <laughs> I think um, somebody freakishly crossed a bell pepper with a jalapeno. This is very sweet. This is like a prank on hot pepper people. This is not cool. <laughs> Here, you want a hot pepper? It's sweet! You lied! Okay. Oh. Are you getting something? Because I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm getting a bit of spice at the back of the throat, top of the mouth, just with the um, breathing in um, after the fact. I'm getting a little bit of something now that I've gotten to the seeds, but even the red jalapeno. It's like a two and a half. I'll be I'll be super generous and call this a three. But that's it. Like Yeah. The jalapeno I've... has become a disappointment to me. <laughs> um I don't know if it's the other peppers that I grow in the yard or just my expectations of flames on the side of my face. But this was underwhelmingly hot. Underwhelming is exactly the word. Alright everybody. I have done 
The jalapenos, the early jalapenos, I still have uh, two more varieties of jalapenos. I've got the chichimeca, which looks more like a standard uh, store length jalapeno and is taking a lot longer. And I have the uh, jalapeno jalapas, which are also supposed to be a sweeter jalapeno, so I don't imagine uh, they're going to be very exciting for my heat sensors, but they're part of the shrine, they're part of the playlist. All right, everybody, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, have a fabulous day. Bye. Bye.